today we're at Porcupine Gorge. We are. We are at the lookout point. So the gorge is about 120 meters deep and believed to be over 200 million years old. Jeez, that's pretty old. So we left Hewarden this morning and we traveled pro probably around about 70 kilometers. The road was pretty good. We saw a few locals on the way, Mwanatas. <laughs> yeah, so we traveled north, northeast uh, on the Han Highway. It used to be called the Highway of Death or the Devil's Highway for the simple fact that it was not sealed. So like Dave and I were saying, why is it called Porcupine Gorge? Well, I'm gonna let you know. See these bad boys? This is like porcupine spear grass and there's so much of it in the area. That's what gave it the name Porcupine Gorge. Fun fact of the day. So from the lookout car park, it's around about 200 meter walk to the actual viewing platform. As you can see, it is an easy walk. I'm gonna say you probably can do it in a wheelchair or if you are disabled, pretty easy access. We are gonna make our way up to the National Park camping area we have booked in. I've gotta say Wi-Fi um, phone service out here isn't the greatest. So I would recommend booking whilst you have service, perhaps in town and it is allocated spots. So then that way you're not turning up and you're not booked in. So we're gonna take you to our camping area for the night, get set up and then we're ready to explore. If you've noticed, I've got the flanny on this morning. We've had lows at night and our top at the moment is only 22 degrees. We are feeling the cool, but we are heading back for some warmth. And I feel like today is meant to be a top of around about 30 anyway, which is pretty ideal. So, reason for the flanny. quick and easy setup we are about to take on a little bit of an adventure how are you going there yeah I'm good mr. B's gonna try out his sticks today are they like hiking <laughs> poles sorry is they called hiking poles um, is that what they are like a hiking pole you know what comment below if you use them this is our first time using them we'll see how they go see if they uh, make the incline and the um, descent a little bit easier so we're on our way to the Pyramid Lookout. The mapping, the mapping wasn't the greatest. We were sort of going in the wrong direction to start with, but we're on track now. From the map, there looks like there's around about 12 sites for motorhomes, caravans, and the rest are tents or um, rooftop tents as well at $7 a night. It's pretty good. As I said, you book online, because then that way you're guaranteed what site you want. We always just use um, the parks, Queensland Parks account, which is easy. Just have your credit card set up, and you can pretty much book and have it paid for within about a minute or two, depending on your reception. So we'll see how we go on our trekking. Oh, yep, that is the day use area in the middle. Okay. So. From the looks of it, there is a large day use area in the middle. There's quite a number of um, toilet blocks and picnic area facilities, but it is basically bring your own water um, and in conditions when it gets pretty hot, you're gonna need lots of that. I'm pretty loaded up today. I'm rocking my GoPro backpack with all my gear. We've also decided to take the Zolio. I have um, spoken about this a lot on our episodes. It's definitely an essential when you are in locations like this, just in case anything happens or if somebody else may be in trouble as well. So got the Zolio and we should be good. So I think we're officially at the beginning of the pyramid truck. 
which may have given you a little bit of a clue what we may be seeing shortly. Well, it says that this track is around about 1.1 kilometers upstairs. A new place, a new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. How beautiful is this place? Porcupine Gorge, absolutely amazing. There are a number of water holes down in this area. I'm quite happy I've discovered these ones. I've got the whole place to myself, so I'm just gonna enjoy my afternoon, hang out, have a bit of a swim, and see what else I can find. I missed it all, but made it through the day, cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way amazing afternoon we've had exploring the gorge we are loving our 24 hours here yep we are going to move on tomorrow so we hope that you follow our journey remember you know what you got to do like subscribe leave us a comment let us know what you think where and we get where we yep go on and as always go out have adventures have fun if you're coming past this area definitely book and stay a night. Absolutely, it has filled up. There was pretty much no one here when we got here, but it seems to fill up in the afternoon. So yep, book in, get here early. I reckon you can definitely do it in one night and one day. And we'll see you next week.